Hi you guys, so today is going to be my first makeup haul. I have recently gotten to makeup and I have decided to put myself on a makeup uh, freeze, buying freeze right now, just so that I can just play in the stuff that I've purchased and kind of learn and and figure out what I want to do. So um, I've got a lot of things, well not really a lot. It kind of fills up this little cute tote. Isn't that cute? Totally got this from Sephora. Some of the makeup's from Sephora. Um, some of it is from other places. The majority of the makeup is from Sephora. So let's just dive right on in. First up, let's just talk about um, applicators, I guess you could say. Yes, things, tools that you use to apply your makeup. So of course I had to purchase the beauty blenders. I have two of them. Now, one thing that I will tell people, and I think that some people don't realize that these are sponges. Sponges can grow mold if there is no airflow to them. So don't throw away your packaging when you purchase a beauty blender. You don't want to put this in a Ziploc bag when it's wet. You really don't want to put it in a Ziploc bag when it's dry either because you don't really want it to grow um, mold. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos where people have talked about uh, purchasing their beauty blender. It's $20 a piece, not on the cheaper side. I do love these. I love them for um, applying my foundation, for blending out my contour and highlights. I mean, this is a really good tool. It really is, in my opinion, worth the $20 that you're gonna spend, but you need to make sure you take care of it. So if you notice, there's uh, there's a hole, well, if you purchase it, I probably can't see it on the camera, but there's a hole on the top and there's actually a hole on the bottom and that's so that the air can flow through it. So when you wash your beauty blender, the best way for you to dry it is to set it right on top so it gets that airflow through the beauty blender. Again, no, no mildew. And that's not cute. It's so not pretty. And I want you guys to have your tools for a long time, especially if you're going to pay some good money for it. So beauty blenders, totally got those, love them. Use this to travel with the travel case. Do not put your beauty blenders in Ziploc bags, people. No bueno. I was looking at um, a video by a YouTuber by the name of Jackie O. I know a lot of you guys probably know her and she was raving about some brushes from, uh, let's see, Real Techniques. So I went ahead and purchased um, just a few of them, totally um, inexpensive. I think I got all Four of these brushes for like $12 or something insane like that. This one, I mean, they're, they're good brushes for the price. They're good. I haven't really gone into the luxury brand of brushes. Like I said, I'm just now getting into makeup. So I'm definitely a beginner. So I need to figure out how to work all this stuff first before I upgrade to uh, the great tools that I would use. So, so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It's cream and it is in the medium build. It comes in light, medium, and deep, and I got the medium one. Um, I cannot scream this praises enough. Like, it's absolutely amazing. Now, this does cost $40, but um, you can only get it at certain Macy's. I ordered mine online, so I'm not sure exactly where you would get it at a store, but Google it. Just, just look and see and Google it because they don't carry it at all Macy's. I, however, got this on sale um, for like one of their one day sales they were having a couple of weeks ago. So I got this bad boy for $25. I was so excited because I really wanted to try it out. And I mean, I had heard a lot of raves about it, but I didn't know if I really wanted to spend $40 on a contour kit. Um, but using it and once this is out, I will definitely purchase it $40 worth. It's definitely worth that. Now, uh, the colors here, a lot of people kind of look at this um, coral one and they're like, what do you do with the coral one? Well, it's a color corrector. So if you have um, hyperpigmentation like around your mouth, dark circles around your eyes, you can put that on before you put on your foundation so it color corrects. You don't want to do too crazy now. You don't want to be looking like a little carrot or anything like that underneath, but um, that is what that's for. I've also seen some people use that as a blush when they're doing their uh, contour. So 
there you go, Anastasia, 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 however you pronounce it, she's doing good on this. Um, speaking of that brand, I also purchased her World Traveler um, palette. So let's just go ahead and show you guys these beautiful colors. Um, this palette is from Sephora. It was $30, I believe that palette was. And this palette here is a limited edition. I actually use this palette. Let me go ahead and take off my glasses. I use this palette today for like this kind of smoky eye looking thing. So yes, um, should I just watch these for you guys? Yeah, let's just go ahead and swatch. Okay, so we're going to swatch these bad boys for you. Okay, so we have Soft Peach. Next is Morocco, just that awesome like brown. Heirloom, which looks like it's black, but it's really like this nice purple with some silver and gold specks in it. Bellini, pink champagne is like right there on my wrist, just awesome. Chic, we have Spoiled that's next, with like this pink frosty color. Fudge, Azure, which is just this beautiful, beautiful blue. Come on. Instant Gaze, Metallic, which is that yellow one, and then Noir, which is the black. Just really, really nice pigmented colors. There are um, sparkly ones, there are matte colors, there are silk colors. Just overall, I, yeah, this, this one's good. Speaking of eyeshadow, Sephora has come out with some eyeshadow sticks, which are, Awesome cream base. They're great for um, putting them on the base. They're great for wearing by themselves. I actually have, which I don't have it with me, um, but for a, the base for underneath my eye here that I put the heirloom on top of, of the Anastasia uh, palette, I use a matte black pencil. These are waterproof and when I tell you that they are the bomb, they are. I did a makeover this past weekend at Sephora and she used these for, um, one of, for the look that I, that I did, I, I was doing like a green and like um, blue um, eyeshadow. Like, do you see those? Do you see like, like for real? Like, though that's that's just one swipe. It is so creamy and just so it's just so awesome. Like you just how can you not love that? <sighs> I'm new to the Becca family. And I had to pick up the champagne pop. And then I also had to pick up opal because I've heard a lot of good stuff about that. I'm actually wearing opal today. And in a few of my previous videos, I've also wore the <clears throat> champagne pop. So I'm gonna show you guys these highlights, which are the best. Okay, so champagne pop. It really is just nice and just, nice on all skin types. I've seen this on all skin types and it just looks great. Like as a woman of color, sometimes you worry about things making you look a little too ashy or just not working for your skin. And these Becca products have definitely worked for my skin tone. So that is, and then this is opal. So it's definitely a little bit different than the champagne pop. Not too much, but I mean, it's definitely awesome. I'm trying to get into like the nude um, everyday lips. I love color. I love crazy fun lips. I love like the blues and the greens and the purples and all that stuff. So for me, it's a little tough to wear the, um, yeah, nudes. So the one that I'm wearing right now is called Barbara and it's from NARS. It's a very, very, Pretty color, it's very like mauvey pink. And I mean, it's a perfect lip for an everyday lip. And then um, with some of my points, I got just one of their little, um, you know, if you get have so many points, you can get little samples of things. So I went ahead and got a sample of Lovecraft from Kat Von D. And it's one of the studded, so cute. I love the packaging of this. And then this one is also kind of like the same color as the Barbara. Let's watch them a little, a little bit. Like this is the Kat Von D right there. And then that's the NARS. So it's a little bit different, but not, not 
too much. Um, so excited that I have two different um, colors there. And then what I have around my lip is a Laura Mercier uh, lip liner. And this is in red chocolate. So when you put that next to it, mm, 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 like for real, do y'all see this? It is awesome. That is what I have for my lippies. I also, how could I forget before I moved on from lips, duh. I purchased this new color from Colored Rain. It's called Fame. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, that is like the perfect fall lippy it it really is like do you see that that shimmer that just gorgeous shimmery shimmerness perfect perfect for fall and you guys know how i feel about colored rain i did a review on some of their um liquid uh, lipsticks i did a review on some of their liquid lipsticks and i love them it's i've seen mixed reviews some people have a love-hate relationship with the formula i personally love it um this is one of my favorites right now like it's just the coppery color for fall it's just ah i can't wait so yeah those are my lips totally almost forgot about that one so i Glad that I remember that. Next, we're going to move on to foundation. You guys know that I have been a like diehard fan of Makeup Forever. Well, when I went to go get my uh, makeover from Sephora, they tried a new foundation for me personally. It's not it's not really a new foundation. I guess it came out earlier this year, um, but it's what I'm wearing right now. And it is the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. This color is... This color is Macau. And so, yeah, this is the business, like for real. I'm not saying that I'm replacing my Makeup Forever foundation, but I did purchase this one and I will be using these ones interchangeably because it is weightless, you have flawless coverage, and yes, yes. So, very excited about that one. And then of course, staying in the NARS family, um, I also purchased, cause I was running out of concealer. So I went ahead and purchased some concealer from NARS. And this is in the color Amandi. Um, why are they names so weird? Oh. But concealer, awesome. Now, I don't have um, bags underneath my eye, but concealer is like perfect for when you make mistakes. Since I'm a beginner, Concealer is my friend. Sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes I draw outside the line when I am using my liquid lipstick. Sometimes I get a little bit too much eyeshadow on this side, so I just use a little bit of concealer to cover that up. So don't be afraid of your concealer, ladies. You need it. And uh, this one is, yes, NARS. I'm new to NARS. I'm new to the NARS family, and I have to say that I am loving it. All right. Um, when I got my makeover, I'm not really big on false lashes. Number one, I have glasses and my lashes are long anyway. So sometimes when I wear my mascara, they kind of touch my lenses and that makes me ugh. Um, shout out to Sherry at International Mall, cause you were the bomb. Um, she talked me into getting lashes. So I did purchase some lashes, which are the Sephora brand. They are the plush brand. They're so cute and so dainty and yeah I did I did like them um will I be wearing them all the time no but for special occasions I, I might I might break out the lash just bust bust out the lashes so yes last but not least blushes I, I've been afraid of blushes I don't know why I've been afraid of blushes I just I just have so let's start with Laura Mercier I went ahead and got this blush and it is in spiced cider man it's really messy because I use it a lot um this is again a great fall color it's also great for like summer it's very faint so very very faint like pinky peachy more peachy i guess than pink just yeah perfection so love that love 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 and then i uh hopped on over to ulta and got the uh nyx uh blush i went something a little bit more pink and this is their high definition blush in the uh, intuition is what the color is called. So that is actually what I'm wearing today is the intuition um, 
underneath the opal. Yes, so this one is definitely more pink. So that's the Intuition and that's the Spice Cider. You can definitely tell the difference. Let me go ahead and show it to you <laughs> outside the case because <laughs> the other one was a little, it was awkward. So yes, this is definitely like a pink, just yes. Very, very good, very good, very good. And then last but not least, because it is almost fall, I wanted to do something that was kind of in the berry family. Um, so what I went ahead and did was pick up, uh, shocker, NARS, a NARS blush. I've heard really great things about NARS and the color that I got is Seduction. And this one is like this really nice berry, like just perfect for fall. Like I oh, it's just, I love that color. So let's go ahead and just swatch this guys for you. Look at that. That is like the perfect fall color. Just, I love these blushes. They're so like light and just dainty and just so cute. So that was my first haul video. I hope I did okay. Like I just feel like, you know how you feel like uncomfortable sometimes about certain things. Like the makeup world is new to me guys. Like for real, I've been looking at um, things online and I've been looking at other vloggers and other um, be beauty gurus and makeup artists and looking at their haul videos. And I'm like, Oh, I don't know about that. But you know what? I decided, Hey, what the heck? It's something that I actually like doing. It's kind of something that I've started doing just so that I can go back to me, go back to Amber. You know, when you become a mom, sometimes you just get stuck in that. Not, it's not really a rut of being a mom, but you do put everyone else um, in front of you or everyone else before you. And that's great. But when you do that all the time, it's really important to take that time for you and makeup is taking that time for me. So I really, really appreciate you guys bearing with me in my first haul video. I can't wait to get more makeup, but not for a while. Gotta put that, uh, pump the brakes on that, like for real, um, for real. <laughs> so like I said, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye. It's really difficult not to look at the screen over here when you guys are right there. But I have a problem because I want to make sure I don't have anything on my teeth or something.